Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be covering JavaScript functions and what they are and why we use them. So let's get started. So JavaScript functions, they allow you to... So what you do is you'll tell it what to do, then it'll execute it as many times as you want it to. So here we have our first functions. So how you declare a function is by typing the keyword function and then the name of it and then a set of parentheses and in here you can pass in as many parameters as you want and parameters are just values that the function will use so yeah and then we have these sets of curly braces and this is where the actual code goes inside the function so we can type anything in here anyways let's go back to example one so we have a function that says function sum that's the name of it and x and y are its two parameters and it'll console.log x plus y so what this function is doing is you'll give it two values x and y two numbers and it'll add those two numbers and then display the sum it'll print the sum in the console so let's try it out and also how you um, call a function is by typing the name of it and then a set of parentheses and then passing in those parameters so we can pass in 2 and 5 and obviously we know that 2 plus 5 equals 7 so we can expect to see 7 yep and also for example I just I just left out y then it's just gonna say not a number well that's okay we can do we can give y a default value of 3 so if we don't include it it's just gonna assume that we want 3 as our value so now if we do some set of parentheses and then 2 inside as the parameter then it's gonna put in 2 for x and then 3 for y because that's the default value but if you pass in 4 for y then it's no longer going to use this default value it's going to go with whatever you passed in so that's how this function work now let's let's move on to the next example so right here we have a random number function it's just going to console.lock a random number between 0 and 1 so let's call this function so type the name of it random number a set of parentheses and this one doesn't have any parameters so we don't have to give it any parameters in our call and let's get rid of this so it's no longer in the console so as you see it printed out a random number 0 0.5946 and so on and every time we refresh we get a different number but it's never going to be 1 or 0 unless we do math.floor so I can do math let me type that again we can do math dot floor and the other set of parentheses goes right here and now we're always going to get a number either 0 or 1 0 and if we refresh again we're just going to keep getting zeros and ones oh we're doing math dot floor that's why but if we did math dot round it's going to alternate between 0 and 1 so now we get 0 we should be getting yeah see took a while before we finally got a one I thought it wasn't gonna work and I might as well teach you math.round math.seal and math.floor so math.round is just gonna round to the closest integer either up or down and math.seal it's automatically gonna round it up so if you have 1.6 or let's just take 1.3 for example so if you have 1.3 it's gonna round up to 2 it won't round down because seal as in ceiling so it's rounding up and math.floor it rounds down so even if you have 1.99999 it's going to round down it's gonna get rid of those decimal places and round down so that's how this function works now we can just delete this and make sure we type I don't know round and then let's move on to our next example so here I have an a function with some if statements in it so if num is greater than zero then it's going to do console.lock positive so if the number we passed in for our function is greater than zero then obviously it's going to be positive so it's going to print out positive in our console and so on for the rest of them so I think you guys are getting the hang of it now I think you guys should be getting the hang of it by now if not I'll don't worry I'll explain to you guys some more anyways I'm gonna call this function if function that's the name of it and then I'll pass in a number like maybe negative 3 then now it's gonna say negative because negative 3 is negative and if you want to you can give it even more conditions that it has to meet 
in order to trigger this the if statement so you can do if num is greater than zero and num dot is integer equals equals false then it's going to print out positive non integer number so let's try printing out let's try 3.4 okay so it should say okay I think I see what I did if function and then 3.4 or was it something else I'm not sure it was either is integer or what was it anyways let's not worry about that because our main focus in this video is functions not if statements that will be in our later videos oh never mind it just appeared right now anyways we can just get rid of that and change this back to positive and now we can go on to example 4 so for this function it just console.logs nice to meet you and your name and I also forgot to get rid of this okay now there's nothing else in my console good anyways this is gonna console.log your name it's gonna greet you basically so I'm gonna type say name then I'm gonna type my name in there since I don't know your name <laughs> now it's gonna say nice to meet you Kenny and you can even give it some more parameters like age and now it's gonna say plus and you are a you are plus age plus years old so now if I pass in 14 for my age it's gonna say nice to meet you Kenny and you are 14 years old and you can also give it a default parameter so let's do 12 so since so now I can just get rid of this and it's gonna say nice to meet you Kenny and you are 12 years old and that's basically how this function work let's move on to this example right here so at the top we created a variable called count equals zero and then we create a function called increment count we didn't p give it any parameters and inside the set of curly braces we did console we're gonna do console.log count plus plus and plus plus in JavaScript just means add one plus plus means add one and minus minus means you guessed it subtract one and I also created this interval down here it's going to run the function every 1000 milliseconds which is one second so it's going to run this function every second and what it's going to do is it's going to add one to the count every single time and then it'll do console.log so if I uncomment this out you should notice something in the console so it starts at zero then it increments by one every single minute I meant seconds and I just added this in for fun so I said if count equals five then it'll do console.log count is now at five and now it just goes on forever unless we um, comment this out then it'll stop and this is pretty much it for the video I hope you guys found this video useful and were able to understand what I explained if you enjoyed make sure to go check out my other videos and other than that I hope you guys have a nice day and I hope to see you again in my next video.